A Brief Narrative on the Life of King Tut The pharaoh, or king named Tutankhamun, ruled over ancient Egypt in the 14th century BC. He took the throne at a young age and died ten years later, at the age of about 18 or 19. He is famous mainly for the treasures found in his tomb in the 20th century. The pharaohs of ancient Egypt were grouped into 30 dynasties. Tutankhamun, also known as King Tut, was a pharaoh of the 18th dynasty. It is thought that he was the brother of Smenkhenkari, who ruled Egypt together with King Akhenaten. King Tut became pharaoh after Akhenaten and Smenkhenkara died. He married one of Akhenaten's daughters, Ankhus Naman, making his claim to the throne even more secure. Because Tutankhamun was very young when he became pharaoh, he depended heavily on advisors. Under their direction, he reversed changes that Akhenaten had introduced to the religion of Egypt. Tutankhamun restored the temples, images, and priests of the old gods. The exact cause of King Tut's death is unknown. Some believe he died in a war. Others believe it was a sickness that took his life. Upon his death, King Tut was buried in the Valley of Tombs of the Kings in southern Egypt. His tomb remained undiscovered for thousands of years. The tomb of Ramses VI of the 20th dynasty was built immediately above that of King Tut, and the young king's tomb was buried under the resulting rubble. Many of the other tombs in the area were later robbed, but because his was hidden, King Tut's remained untouched. In 1922, Howard Carter, a British archaeologist, located the tomb. When it was opened, King Tut's mummy was found laying within a nest of three coffins. The innermost coffin was of solid gold, and the two outer coffins were of gold hammered over wooden frames. A magnificent golden portrait mask and many pieces of jewelry were found on the mummy. The coffins were surrounded by four shrines of hammered gold over wood covered with texts which practically filled the burial chamber. Additional rooms were filled with furniture, statues, clothes, a chariot, weapons, staffs, and various other objects. Because of these finds, King Tut became better known than other pharaohs who had lived longer and were more important in the history of Egypt. I hope you enjoyed this narrative of King Tut. Thanks for watching.